Welcome back. I am O. This is K. We got that out of the way. And now, um, while you all are watching this, this is not me on her shirt. Um, no. This She claims... It is the best of all time. Okay, so whatever. All right, so back to the video. Um, one of the things about the routines, the ab routine, is sometimes it's tough to get your exercise in during the day because you're doing a lot. It's just a lot going on. Right, so, to find time to do a workout, to get it in. One of the things we, one of the problems we solved is making sure it's enough to where you feel like you've done something. So we make them five to eight minutes. But so, intense. And, some, and somewhat intense. So a lot of the videos, uh, with, with this last routine, I let, what do you want to be called, Kay or Christy? I hate, <laughs> saying her first name is so weird because it's like, you know when you know someone so long, you have a nickname. What do Her you name? usually call me? Babe. That's what you said. <laughs> so, babe. <laughs> how was the last <laughs> routine? So, it's, you see how weird that is? So, it's even weird to say the nickname. So, what was... <laughs> come on, get serious here. What was... we? They're watching. Um, okay, so I tried the workout is basically what we're trying to say. Of course, I am not at the level of fitness or flexibility or coordination that he is at, but I was able to get through the workout. And um, the routine, I felt it for sure. Um, I had to do only the amount of reps that I could and the time. And that's why I like that we use the timer instead of trying to do so many reps. So like you can go at your own pace, but you're gonna do it for 30 seconds. So set a goal for yourself. like. This time, in 30 seconds, I was able to do 10 reps. But then next time I do it, let me try and get 12 reps. That kind of thing. Because then it gives you a little more goals. Instead of saying you got to do 100 <laughs> of them. And you're going to like die before yeah. you even get to 100. And the other thing is, um, make sure that you have someone to do them with. I know a lot of the times when I'm doing these workouts, like when I'm playing basketball or doing my workout, I'm getting something out of that. But for... What was your name again? <laughs> <laughs> so, but for her, it's like, I, she needs someone there with her. And a yeah, lot of I women do. have said that. They do better when it's in a group setting. So, yeah, because I feel like I can't wimp out because all these other people are watching me. So if I'm here by myself, then it's like, I can just skip it. So one solution to that problem is if you have, uh, you know, your, your sons, your daughters, somebody there with you. Like... Um, our kids will help out with the video sometimes and that will motivate her to do it. Yes, and they'll keep me going. They'll be like, come on, mom, you can do it. Just four more, like, you can do it. So, two things we want to give to you. Number one is... First thing is try the workout. You can do it. Go through the routine. See what it's like. I know sometimes you can just watch it, see, okay, these are movements I can try or this way I can change it to where it's something I can do. And do as many reps as you can. Like I said, if he's doing 20 in 30 seconds, you don't have to keep up with that. You got the same 30 seconds, do as many as you can. Give yourself a goal to get a little more in the next time that you try it. The, the other thing is try to do it with somebody. If you have a hard time with that, like it gives, it that, it gives you motivation. accountability and motivation. If you can't do it on your own, um, just doing the beat won't mean you did the workout. Right. Sorry. So... The, the, the beat is there to speed you up and make the intensity go up. That's what that's Yeah, what that's why the tempo changes. So for the different movements, the tempo changes just to get your heart rate going a little bit. And each routine will have where he's making the beat at the beginning, and then that's what you'll hear through the workout to keep you going. The tempo changes, like you mentioned, and then that way you're um, speeding up or slowing down, depending on the movement and the intensity of it. So proper form, proper technique, and then for this week, try to do it at least two to three times a week. We will see you next time.